Four and a half months after his arrest, France's top appeals court decides where Felician Kabuga should stand trial. The Rwandan genocide suspect was tracked down to a flat outside Paris in May. He had been on the run for 26 years with a $5 million US bounty on his head. Shortly after his arrest, UN war crimes investigators requested that he be handed over to international judges. It is uh, an arrest warrant and an indictment coming from the, the UN mechanism. So we are the, uh, the competent uh, jurisdiction to, 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 tr to deal with this case. The International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda, a UN court set up to judge those responsible for the 1994 genocide, was dissolved in 2015. War crimes prosecutors want Kabuga to be tried in Arusha, Tanzania, where ICTR's residual body is handling outstanding cases. Or, if that's not possible, in The Hague. Lawyers for Kabuga, now in his 80s, have asked for a trial in France, citing his frail health. Families of genocide victims want him brought to justice without delay. Kabuga faces seven counts of war crimes for his role in the mass killings. He's accused of bankrolling and arming Hutu extremists. He also funded the notorious Radio Television Libre des Mille Collines, which incited hatred and murder of ethnic Tutsis. About 800,000 people were slaughtered in Rwanda in just 100 days.